In this video, we're talking about a GoPro case that is designed specifically for vloggers. All right, guys, we're talking about a GoPro case that is set up specifically for vlogging. Before we get started, I just wanna let you know that I am running a giveaway right now, so make sure you head down in the description and you can find the link for that. So the biggest issue when it comes to vlogging with a GoPro is the audio solution. You can't just plug your microphone directly into a GoPro, so when you mount a microphone on top, you have to actually have this audio box and it's this specially designed audio box from GoPro and it basically forces you to always have this box hanging off if you want to vlog using an external mic. So previously I did a video all about vlogging with the GoPro. Originally my solution was getting a cage and then basically mounting everything to that. It's not a perfect solution, but it worked well and I've been using it for a while. Now recently, there's a new case that just came out which basically solves this problem. And what it does is it puts the audio box below the GoPro and it's tucked in here nicely so that you don't ever have anything dangling off of it. It's a super simple solution and it's super cheap. So it's a no brainer to get this case if you are vlogging with a GoPro. What's nice about this whole case setup is that nothing's gonna be like dangling off when you're shooting. So. You know, you can throw this around, all the cables stay nice and neat. So when you're holding out and vlogging, it's a much smaller setup than when you actually had to build the case around the cage that you bought for the GoPro vlogging setup. So it makes a huge difference in just the experience of working with this camera when you're extending it out and you don't have the potential for things to fall off of it. Now, the GoPro, I think, has been a great tool for vlogging because it makes it so easy to shoot your vlogs, but the biggest issue has been the whole setup because you have to have the audio box to make the whole thing work. With your audio box put underneath the GoPro, the cable that plugs into the side ties up nice and neat right on the side so it's never having any issues, there's not weird tension going on, and you're not gonna accidentally break the port by having your box dangling off the back or something. The other really cool feature about this case is that they basically set it up for microphones with windscreens on them. The issue when you're vlogging with a GoPro and one of these microphones is that it sags into the shot unless you find a way to basically mount it higher. So with this case, it mounts it high enough where it's out of your shot, but low enough that it's not like super crazy out of the way. So this is just a vlog test of using a GoPro Hero 7 and vlogging with it just holding it a little bit away from my body and I'm able to get a shot without having to see the screen. And that's kind of one of the best things about using the GoPro, it's so wide. So you always have a good shot when you hold it out and you're just looking right into the lens. Originally, I had one of these metal cages and I had to build a mount that sat high enough so that the microphone got out of the frame. Now, in terms of construction, it's made out of plastic, so it's lightweight. It's not the beefiest case in the world. I definitely think it's durable enough to withstand the typical day of vlogging and you're not gonna have issues with this breaking. On the bottom of the case, it connects to your typical GoPro mount. So it's not a tripod mount, it's like a GoPro mount, the three prong, two prong thing. I personally like to see a version with a quarter 20. However, with this mount, you basically have your typical GoPro adapters. If you just get a GoPro tripod adapter, it works just fine. It's not big, it's not super obtrusive, so it's easy to keep on you wherever you're going. Now with my setup, the microphone that I use for my GoPro vlogging is the Video Micro from Rode. It's an awesome mic that keeps it super small and compact so it's never in your shot. And when you're using the Video Micro, it's set up so that your cable can clip right into the cold shoe mount so that the microphone never bounces into your shot. And this is something that a lot of people forget when they're working with this Video Micro is that you need to make sure that your cable is clipped in so that your microphone stays perfectly level and doesn't dip down into the shot. I personally use a $15 little tripod for this setup. It makes it super easy and lightweight. 
You can mount it to basically anything. If you use a Joby tripod, it will work great as well. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is basically a no brainer if you are vlogging with a GoPro. It makes it so easy so that you never have to worry about your audio box. And it's also just not for vloggers. Anyone that is using this audio box that is using external audio with your GoPro, this case just makes it super easy so that you never have a dangling cord with a little box hanging off your GoPro anymore. And it keeps it all nice and neat in the case. So guys, I'll put a link down below in the description. And guys, that is it. If you're new here to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of awesome filmmaking tutorials, camera reviews, and if you wanna learn about YouTube or vlogging or how to make a living doing this, I'll put a link to a playlist where it's all my YouTube training videos so you can check those out. Also guys, make sure you head over to thecreatorfilmschool.com. That is my nuts to bolts, everything you need to know to have a career as a filmmaker or a creator. All right guys, that is it. I'll see you on the next one.